Good evening guys. In this video I will show you a couple of features which are not covered in previous videos and let's jump in. So in a previous video I forgot to, I forgot to show that's how to how we delete the users. Okay, let me let me create a user again. Uh, it will be test test 10 John email John It doesn't matter. It's a password test 10 and it's a role, it's editor expiration. And that's one more point. When you're creating a user and leaving the expirations here and here, it's empty. It will be that this this user will never expire. This means the administrators, when you are creating the administrator for yourself, leave the expirations empty just it the pod should be assigned definitely yeah by default this uh, admin admin the default admin pod will be zero here yeah it's uh, but you can uh, use that zero yes uh, if you are looking here that's admin of the this host is a pod zero yes i'm doing the 21 so the user is added here yeah it's uh, you can see the test user and uh, simply simply highlight it and the actions and delete the selected user it's pretty simple that's it so just coming back uh, jump back to home and let's check another features under the actions so under the actions add new folder look at this uh, you can use it and sort your things and then sort by labs yeah it's and uh, some security for example or a routing and switching whatever you wish yes yeah, so therefore you can create a folder and I'm saying it will be uh, RRS labs for example right labs eh. Okay, and the folder is added. It appears here, right? And to sort the things, to sort the things here, as for example, I wish to this lab to be in the folder RS labs. I'm just taking this and drag and drop here and release. And if you are going inside of the folder, you're going to see the lab is here. If you wish to remove lab, it's and then get it back to the main tree. Just drag and drop to the top of the tree and release and you can see that lab is back yeah it's a from rsl lab that's how you can manage your things to creating the folders it will be much easier yeah so for example the my folders fill it up it's a subfolder is here yeah it's sent a lot of things um, so to next option uh, the re rename of the current folder how to do this i'm going inside of the folder i'm going inside not to highlight but go inside and say actions rename current folder and i'm saying rs labs ud labs and saying rename fine let's see if i'm going back you're going to see the folder is renamed so the last option is uh, left is a delete the selected object so so if i'm going inside yeah, so for, let's let me clean up something from my my labs yeah. um, for example I would I wish to uh, these are labs imported someone from uh, web IAU yeah but it I will show you it uh, in previous videos and let's let's check yeah, it's uh, just a highlight what you wish to delete actions and to say uh, delete selected object that's it it disappeared the same way you're going to go back yes yeah, so we just created this one folder it's just highlight this folder and say delete selected object and all content inside of the folder will disappear as well delete selected object that's it the folder disappear be careful yeah it's because no no confirmations is asked are you sure you're not yeah it's uh, that be careful when you are deleting we will think about it about these confirmation options in later uh, you know versions yeah but and, and this moment be careful so about uh, home yeah we are in home the status new lab you know the clone selected lab as shown in previous videos how we can do this the delete objects as shown just now export selected objects as shown it's uh, when we uh, exporting you can actually you can export the fo whole folder if you are just highlight this folder Folder and say export. Yeah, so, for example, 
yeah and it it shows yeah it's an and the all folder look at this the sizes of 13 megabytes yeah, it will be exported and can be imported in another UNL as well uh, the import external objects yeah, it's, as I told you it's before uh, you have to use the exactly format do not unzip it just just import the pros yeah it's a where you want yeah it's a for example there is a DMVPN lab yeah it's and we can import it inside so um, and rename current folder I just shown you the users in previous video I show I guess I show everything about it and the status and the last one is status and if you are going to look at the status yeah the status here you will see the not development version like in this server you will see the exactly version which you are running and the role uh, role yeah, it's a uh, how are you logged? Yeah, it's on who are you? It's which role you are using, and the pod, pod number, pod number as well. Yeah, it's uh, the status updating. It's every five seconds, and therefore, uh, therefore you can check exactly yeah, so what happens with your system. Yeah, it's if everything is fine. Uh, under the actions, under status and actions, you can see that refresh. Yeah, it's uh, this uh, can be refreshed at any time. Yeah, it's but uh, as it is refreshing every five seconds, it now need for this. The stop all notes. If you are an admin, it, it's very nice feature that if the, some students are left just just run away yes, and left running labs yeah, it's uh, with, with the notes and you will see the the quantity of the notes where and how many it's running in a in a new in a new UNL and further versions I think that we will do some some more detailed detailed information here it's uh, who is running how many running and maybe even in the, some management of these yeah, let's say then you like an admin you can uh, stop some user yet yeah, so to use yeah, it's a disconnected or, or whatever to know to do and the newest feature will be here update the new new unit lab this means when you will press on this button uh, it will automatically will check in our unit lab servers uh, installed yeah, it's actually public servers in in will check and if new release will be available it will allow you to easy update your unit labs remember that after the any of la, any of unit unit lab update you have to refresh browsers the close refresh and the best one is to clean up a cache it, it's a, the browser cache if you are going here yeah, it's a privacy and clear your history and then saying that's everything and the details just an uncheck yeah it's, uh, it's I'm leaving the cookies and cache and cookies I'm usually it's just clear now that's that's a rule yeah it's a, when you update your UNL be sure that your browsers are refreshed and everything is fine so it's about logout <laughs> I think I should say nothing it is just the logout from the system so Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, need to refresh it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so these uh, these were last features which I would like to show. I I shown already. Yeah, it's uh, thank you for viewing.